Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Lees with today's Mental Health Minute on rescuing the brain from malnutrition. Little is talked about how much the brain is compromised by all eating disorder behaviors, not just starvation, and patients will often argue that they aren't malnourished because they still eat. Um, eating disorder behaviors like binging, purging, restricting, laxative abuse, excessive exercise, and usually a combination of these or others cause an insult to the body's nutritional status. When this happens, metabolic functions or the processes in the body necessary for life shift into survival mode and all organ systems like the heart, kidney, livers, stomach uh, are negatively affected, including the brain. Malnutrition is defined as the condition that occurs when the body does not get enough nutrients. Anyone, regardless of weight, that is dieting or has an eating disorder is malnourished to some degree. When the body is malnourished, the brain atrophies or shrinks. This can actually result in the heightened persistence of eating disorder behaviors. So in other words, eating disorder thoughts and behaviors get worse the longer malnutrition occurs. Malnutrition affects the brain by disrupting the neurotransmitters or the brain chemicals that regulate mood. Um, this often causes or exacerbates depression and anxiety. A brain not receiving adequate nutrition makes trying to recover more than an uphill battle for both the body and the mind. Rehabilitating a person's nutritional state and normalizing weight within a normal range allows for biological and metabolic recovery. The organ systems depleted by malnourishment are regenerated, so things like building back muscle mass, the return of menses, restoring normal digestion, and regaining normal brain size and volume occurs. In order to rescue the brain, appropriate nutrition to treat the malnourishment, as well as reaching a normal weight, are absolutely key. Only with healthy brain function, from normalized eating and a normal weight, is the potential for long-term recovery possible. This means all involved, the patient, the family, and the treatment team, have to do their best to work together in effort to rescue the brain. If you or a family member is receiving treatment that is not focused on improving nutrition and weight as a primary goal, seek out an eating disorder expert who understands the importance of treating the medical aspects of eating disorders. For more information, please visit my website at eatingdisordersmilwaukee.com and thank you for watching this Mental Health Minute.